chored. We are loading the fence trailer back up. Came down to look for some handles. Um, the agenda for the week is to get this fence all up so we can drive cows. So uh, stay tuned for that fun. Um, I also yeah, I've got some stuff lined up for the rest of the week, so I'm really excited about that if I can get everything accomplished. <sighs> We're searching for handles. Okay. Oh man, I only got three handles. Oh boy. That could be bad. May need to send Carol to get some more. Or one of us. I'm gonna have to run. Okay, well, let's see how far we can get with three. There are a lot of moving parts this week. Jason has several young farmers meetings that he's attending um, at the evening. So he's gone part of the time. I'm gonna be gone over the weekend for a road trip and really excited about that. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that. Um, I also am trying to uh, crank out some other videos, some do-it-yourself things that we've kind of learned along the way. And I'm gearing up for calving season. Professional bovine OB in the works. And I'm trying to get diamond ready for the sale in March. Ah, I need more day, more hours in my day. That's not true, that's not true at all. I really just need to do a little bit better prioritizing. What's on the agenda for today? Building fence. Are we, fence. Are we ever going to get done fencing? There will always be fence to make. We're going to run out of acreage. There will always be fence to make. For the rest of our life. Always. Okay. Alright, well. Did you bring snacks? in Missouri. I guess I'll go get in my machine I'm not thrilled about today. You want to tell them why I'm not thrilled about it? It's still a deer. It's still a deer. <laughs> Somebody broke the track. So now we had to bring the baby deer over. And it's just not as easy to function. <laughs> At least it's warm and has heat. I'd probably cry if I didn't. <sighs> Good gracious, there's so many rules. So the one downside to this skid loader is A, it doesn't have tracks. Two, um, you use your feet to control the up and down and you drive with your arms, both arms. Um, so it kind of bothers my shoulder to be forward on the time on that. Um, but mostly it doesn't have a radio. Not that you all can listen to that anyway, but it doesn't have a radio. So we're gonna set some more posts, set some more fence, yada, 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 get kills over here.
been like just being a little short there. Oh, well. It's a good thing it's poly wire, not anything else. Hey, thank you for taking that tree out that I hit with the accumulator all the time. Oh, you know, just building more fence. I probably overlapped. We'll find out. So what happened was we ran out of wire and the splice is too big to fit through the hole. So we're having to connect together. How many more you gotta go? Oh, well. Okay. So we're not too far off. It was talking. The ladies know what's up. They're watching us at Polly. They're waiting. This is the best part about like the cows. They know. Like they hear that poly wire unrolling and they're like coming. You can see Jason working real hard back there. to show you like Jason and the cows moving at the same time. I did not like my my re reply. These are the heifers that are going to calve in about a month. They're ladies, cow calves, cow calves. These are cows and first time heifers. But these first time heifers won't, they're not going to cap yet, they'll cap in the fall. I really need, need to do some sorting so you guys understand everything. Grab your bucket, you better hurry because they're on the move. <laughs> they're going to know that. It's the only downside about using yellow buckets. Yes, girls, we are moving you. Just hold your horses. Nobody get into a tizzy. No rushing. Greener grass awaits. They know. See them? They know. They know what? They know something's up. Yeah. They need any more barricade here. <laughs> you think they'll stay in? Huh? You think they'll stay? Oh, I guess we'll find out. Are you going to have a chat with them and tell them to stay? They need to stay on this side of the fence. I'll go whisper to each one of them. Okay, you go give them their motherly talk, and then I'll tell them about their OA, OB appointments. <laughs> about when they're expected to be due, because I'd like to have all of them in like a 10-day window. Yeah, one, more. one more? You think they need one more? <sighs> He's got a barcade going on. Barricade. Barricade. Baseball. <sighs> Winter stockpile moving. Girls, I told you to wait.
are so good. They're such good mamas. Hmm. I love my cows. Ooh, I took my hat off. It's not too bad. Um, I really appreciate you guys following along, tagging along around the farm with us. Um, kind of giving you more of a fun aspect around us. Um, less just me talking facts. Like, trying to be more fun. Well, now he just informed me we have a wheelbarrow now. Yay. Jason ain't, ain't even got to the gate yet to let him in. Come on, ladies. Yeah, I need these posts up there. Okay. I just want to get them through real quick, and then, then we'll uh, go put these up. Okay. So we set poly wire in ten minutes, give or take. Jason's going to roll wire. They're like, we're just waiting on you to move. Come on, babies. Come on, mamas. I want to be as happy as these ladies on green grass. <laughs> 60, 62, 62 is so pregnant she can't run. gonna go very far. We've moved cows in the middle of the dark before. It was not ideal situation. Hmm. Thanks for tagging along. If you guys liked today's video, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe to the channel. That helps us grow. Uh, we are very small in the YouTube channel world. So anything helps and we really appreciate it. Don't we, honey? Yeah, it's all rock here. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You don't want to get stuck when we're hauling hay out. You're doing a great job. Okay. Come on, roll that fence up. Okay. It's so sunny and nice out today. Birth would be warmer. You think we'll get that fence stretched done tomorrow? Are you taking these girls over there then?